There were also probably times when these men in the bottom of the ship said no one appreciates us or says thank you for what we do. We work, 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 and work, yet we are treated like slaves. I just wish someone would occasionally show some appreciation. We all want to be appreciated. I like to be thanked when I work hard, just as well as we all do. This is a natural, normal desire. If we all just treat each other with good manners in the body of Christ, it will solve a world of problems and remedy a lot of hurt feelings. But people are people, and sometimes they forget to say thank you. It's absolutely true that people should be more thoughtful and appreciative. But the bottom line is this. Ultimately, it doesn't matter whether or not those around us ever show us appreciation for what we do. If the boat is going to move, we must row the boat. Just like these underworlds, if you stop rowing, if you stop doing your job, it could possibly jeopardize the destiny God has called you to fulfill. If the boat is going to move, you must row, whether or not you ever hear the words thank you from anyone. That is not that is the hard reality of life for all of us as servants of God. Yes, it would be nice to hear thank you from time to time, but lack of appreciation must not affect our determination to row our boat and do what God, God has called us to do. When you said yes to the will of God, you surrendered to him, agreeing to pick up the oar. He is placed before you. For you, that oar may be a ministry. God has given you a position to serve into a ministry. Whether respons- whatever responsibility God has set before you, it's time for you to grab hold of that oar. Like the underroars who rode in order to move those big ships, you must begin a lifelong occupation of rowing to advance the cause God has put on your heart. From now on, your lifelong slogan needs to be, row, row, row your boat. Lord, help me today to keep a right perspective of what you have called me to do. When I get tired and the devil tries to convince me to quit, please help me remember that if everyone stops rowing the boat, it won't go anywhere. Even if no one else knows what I'm doing, I know that you see every move I make. Whatever I do, Lord, I do for you. I pray this in Jesus' name. My confession for today. I confess that I have a job to do and that I'm going to do it. I will not jeopardize my destiny by succumbing to the discouraging voice of the enemy. If the boat is going to move, I must do my part to move it. Whether or not I ever hear the words, thank you from anyone, I am the servant of God and I will do my service as unto him. I declare this by faith in Jesus' name. Questions for you to consider. Number one. When do you most easily get discouraged? For instance, does discouragement strike when you are physically weary? Have you found that if you stay in prayer, you stay stronger and more encouraged? Number two, when you're slugging it out and pushing forward with every ounce of your might, what helps you more than anything else to keep pushing ahead? Number three, does the knowledge that you are willing to do something no one else is willing to to do motivate you? Do you get satisfaction when you know you're being obedient to God, even if no one else is willing to stick in there and be obedient with you? Be blessed.